Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Come bring our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come let us adore him. A mighty God is the Lord. A great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. How wonderful is God among his saints! Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow, men low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Hard not your hearts as at Mariba, as on that day at Mass or in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my word. How wonderful is God among his saints. Come, let us adore him. For forty years I was weird of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. How wonderful is God among his saints, come let us adore him. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. How wonderful is God among His saints. Come, let us adore Him. This is the day where, on the Lord's true witness, whom all the nations lovingly do honour, worthy at last was found to wear forever glory transcendent. Oft hath it been through his sublime deserving poor human bodies, howsoever stricken, broke and cast off the Bondage of their sickness, healer divinely. Healing and power, grace and beauteous honour, always be his who, shining in the highest, Ruleth and keepeth all the world's vast order, one 
God three persons. They are happy who dwell in your house, Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the cause of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays a young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. There have you dwell in your house, forever sing your praise. They are have you strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings, they walk with ever growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God. I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favour and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good. To those who walk without blame, Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise for every man. They are happy who dwell in your house, Lord. Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it. And many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways that we, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall decide for many peoples, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord of the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. And his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise. 
to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. He's our majesty in state and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shall for joy. At the presence of the Lord where he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world, he will judge the peoples with his truth. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. My brothers, I implore you by God's mercy to offer your very souls to him, a living sacrifice, dedicated and fit for his acceptance the worship offered by mind and heart. Adapt yourselves no longer to the pattern of this present world, but let your minds be remade and your whole nature thus transformed. Then you will be able to discern the will of God and to know what is good, acceptable and perfect. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. They shall be filled with gladness. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The just shall rejoice in the sight of God. Francis the destitute and lowly, enters heaven a rich man, acclaimed by the songs of angels. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us a free from fear and save from the hands of our foes we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, 
to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Francis, the destitute and lowly, enters heaven a rich man, acclaimed by the songs of angels. Let us praise Christ, the holy God, and ask that we may serve him in justice and holiness all the days of our life. Lord, you alone are holy. You were tempted in every way that we are, but you did not sin. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Lord, you alone are holy. You have called us to grow in love until there is no longer fear. Lord Jesus, make us holy. Lord, you alone are holy. You have told us to be salt of the earth and the light of the world. Lord Jesus, enlighten our minds and hearts. Lord, you alone are holy. In a world of human need, it was your will to serve and not to be served. Let us become like you, Lord Jesus, in the humble service of our brothers. Lord, you alone are holy. You are the radiant brightness of God's glory, the perfect likeness of his nature. Lord Jesus, let us see the splendour of your face. Lord, you alone are holy. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you made St. Francis of Assisi, Christ-like in his poverty and humility. Help us so to walk in his ways that, with joy and love, we may follow Christ your Son and be united to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.